Uh, this is a Saucy Effects here, and we're recording another tutorial. Uh, today is a question that I get asked a lot. Um, it's how to use the roto brush. The roto brush is basically another way to mask, except it's a lot quicker, and it kind of does the work for you. So uh, let's get into it. So basically, we're just going to go to where we want to be uh, masked out. So split the clip, and then I want it to go. I'm only going to do it like one second just for time's sake. And then I want it to stop right here, okay? So we're going to split the clip. Don't delete this, but now, okay. Also, it has to be in a full quality or else it's not going to be accurate. So just make sure it's in full quality when you're actually doing it. Um, so, but then you're going to go into layer view. So but to do that, just double click on this layer. So right here, double click, and it should say layer view. Now we can zoom in on the timeline. And uh, this is the place where we're going to roto brush. Uh, basically, so this tool up here, this is your roto brush tool, and how this works is you pretty much draw it inside his body, and it'll create lines of where you draw. So you have to go around, and you want to get the lines to be on the edges of him. So you can zoom in, right? We just want the lines to be on his edges, okay? And I'm just gonna do one frame just to show you guys quickly because this can take a very long time it's just how it works masking takes a while no matter how you do it you can't really get around it and sometimes the roto brush works really fast and sometimes it doesn't you just gotta it just depends on the clip um, also a quick tip to go uh, move around your screen hold spacebar and then just drag on your with your trackpad or mouse so basically just doing this really quickly and this is how I mask like 80% of the time. Um, yeah, so it's just easier and better in my opinion. And it usually looks nicer if you know what you're doing. So this is not a perfect mask, but when you're done, um, go back. This is just one frame. You have to go frame by, uh, sorry guys, frame by frame. And it'll try to guess, but you're going to have to fix it up. But like, here, let me go to a framework it's messed up, okay? Uh, hold up, it's loading, guys. Uh, here, let's go here. If you want to delete part of it, here, like this. Let's say it's out here. Hold Option or Alt, um, and drag, and that will delete that part, like that. So you have to do that to get rid of it. There. So that's how you do it. And then, sorry guys, I'm in the habit of saving. Um, so go to back to your composition view, and it's gonna look not great right now. So let's get a regular tool back. So go over to these settings. And here's what I do to make it look nicer. Reduce the chatter to about 100, okay? And then feather it. I usually do 25. Uh, sometimes I have to do more, sometimes you do less. And shift the edge, we'll do 3. Now, I mean, you can see it's not perfect, but I didn't really take my time on it. Uh, that's pretty much how you do it. It's pretty simple. If you have any questions, comment below or comment below what tutorial you guys want to see next. Uh, that's going to be it. Uh, thanks for watching.